Roatan, Honduras, my home sweet home. Born and raised on this stunning Caribbean island, I've grown up with the sound of waves and the warmth of the sun on my skin. But don't let the postcard perfect scenery fool you. Life on Roatan has its ups and downs, like learning to navigate the unpredictable electricity and water supply and finding creative ways to keep pesky iguanas out of your garden. And don't even get me started on the occasional rooster waking you up at the crack of dawn. I was surprised by the lack of infrastructure on Roatan despite its importance to Honduras' economy and frustrated by the limited healthcare resources, including the need for emergency services to come from the mainland, which can take hours or even days to arrive and feeling helpless when medical emergencies arise. I remember one time when my neighbor fell seriously ill and we had to transport them to the mainland via a small boat praying for calm waters and a swift journey. We had to constantly check the weather forecast and wait for a window of good weather to make the journey, all while trying to keep my neighbor comfortable and safe. I had to adjust to a more self-sufficient lifestyle on Roatan with limited access to conveniences like grocery delivery, reliable electricity, and internet connectivity which can make staying connected with loved ones and conducting business challenging and finding alternative ways to stay productive during frequent power outages. I've learned to appreciate the simple things like a cold shower on a hot day or a good book by candlelight during a blackout. And I've become a pro at starting the generator and troubleshooting internet connectivity issues. I was shocked by the limited healthcare options on Roatan, with everything being out of pocket and serious emergencies requiring evacuation to the mainland, which can be expensive and logistically complicated and having to rely on friends and family for support during medical crises. While living in Roatan, Honduras has its challenges, I recommend it as a top destination for retirees and those seeking a relaxed island lifestyle, but only if they're prepared for the unique challenges that come with island living and have a flexible mindset to adapt to the island's quirks. And trust me, it's worth it. The sunsets alone are worth the occasional inconvenience. Plus, the sense of community and camaraderie among islanders is unmatched. We formed our own little support network and look out for each other through thick and thin. So, if you're thinking of making the move, be prepared for adventure and a whole lot of island charm.